like a pro. Woohoo! Get the old iron, that bit there. Now the awkward bit is these corners. That take ages to get the hang out of it. Like that, like that, and like that. Giddy. And what I do, I don't want to press that, I'm not pressing as hard as you think. That's something like thunder in the background, boss. That's the uh, builders over there making fucking fit. You what? They did have a <laughs> Yeah. So when you put in the corner, don't push to it, push away from it. Like that, like that. There. There. You're dragging a door. Oh dear. So I'll get me iron and just gently pull it to me. We'll go back the other way. I'm just using that bit there. I don't let that bit dig in. Yeah, yeah. That like that. One of them, one of them. Can't say on this corner. That way. There. This is where if you've got decent brickwork and your joints are full, that's easy. There's certain bricklayers I have worked with and followed. You have to point it up with a machine gun. You've got to launch the camp window. There we go. <laughs> uh, and I just tend to scrape that off there. And I just go over it a couple of times. There's a little bit wet because there was a lot of rain last night. And then I'll just leave that. That's its first one. Let's see what's like around the corner. And go there, there. Do your cross joints first. One there, I ain't for that very much. Look, that go there, that there, and I can feel this is still a little bit wet. So we'll, we'll leave that and come back to that. That depends if fussy what bit. I'd like to really give it a good finish. I'm not a big price man, so it don't bother me. But this, if you learn the point. Get your iron, get good iron, good quality iron. And get some cheaper ones, they ain't worth it. Pull that out there. If you point it when it's too wet, that'll dry up really white. So you gotta catch it right. That's just that joint's good. Kill back on them. See it's coming now. Right in there. Right, look down there. Cross joints first. And I'm not pushing it in, I'm just letting that rise up a bit. And this has got so really, but you gotta press but not press. Feel but don't feel. We'll revisit that in a minute. Good. It's coming. So now you look, that's the finished. That's that bit. That's gone off. That's nearly there. And I know certain people in the building tried who don't even point it, but that's just get left. If the labour don't catch it, that's it. That's tough puppy. But this is what you want. There we go there. Cool.
on sites. They do it like that, then they get this old brush and they go, oh, look at that, look. what a load of crap that is. Ready for render then. You, you can't have that, that's got to be like this. Hold it. Unless you want it, so you ain't got to look at it. But you got to go like that. Get everything nice and smooth. That looks 20 times better. Pick your bits off, like so. So don't use one of them. A couple of days later you can. That's what I just done was called the stipple effect. But there's a lot of bricklayers out there who do that, they don't know no better, I'm afraid. But I wouldn't do it on my own house, so I know a lot of people would. I'm not going to mention any names on here because so I could get duffed up. I'm just going to say salty sea dogs. No, I didn't say that. I know where that come from. So now we're starting to hone it in. And there we go. <coughs> That's the effect you want. Neat, nice and neat and crisp. So you can either have that or that. You choose. Oh, for Simmons, yeah. Oh, my old belly's beginning to irk a bit. Oh. What is it? 942. Oh, lovely. Right. I'll That's just focus. Mate. I'll just focus on my pointing up. And I won't lie anymore to this session. I'll just get back on this side. Let's have a look. Yep. Now starting to go. Corners are neat. Remember, if you want the step of persimmon look, we go around this side, that can be that. We're looking for a nice quality finish. Hope that helped you, and thanks for watching.